Heart to Art, a reading and art summer program with Miss Mora, a partnership with the Field Library. Hi, all my friends from the Field Library. I hope you enjoy making this craft today. If you missed the story on Monday, go back, watch that video first, and then come back and make the craft. All right, have fun. On Monday, we read the story, I Will Be Fierce, written by Be A Bird Song, illustrated by Nidhai Chanani. Today, we will be creating painted positive affirmation jars. These are the supplies you will need. You will need an empty jar, paint, paint brushes. You will need a pair of scissors. Make sure you ask an adult before you use scissors. You will need some colored paper, but if you only have white paper, that's okay too. You will need something to write with. I am using a Sharpie marker. These are the steps in creating your painted positive affirmation jar. The first thing you are going to do is decorate your jar with paint. You can paint anything that makes you feel happy. When you are done, let it dry. The next thing you are going to do is you're going to cut out small rectangles from the sheets of paper. A positive affirmation is words you use to encourage yourself. So the next step is you are going to use the small rectangles that you cut out from the sheets of paper and you are going to write a positive affirmation on each one. So for example, I am creative, I am funny, I am smart, I am strong. These are all positive words you can use to encourage yourself. And sometimes it may be hard to think of positive things about yourself, but obviously we all have good things about ourselves. If you're having some trouble, you can ask somebody at home. Sometimes we may doubt ourselves and sometimes we may feel bad about ourselves, but it is important to speak to yourself with kindness because when we're able to do that, we realize that we're better than we think we are, and we are capable of anything. When you're done writing your positive affirmations, you can put it into your painted jar. You're all done, you did a great job. And next time you're feeling bad about yourself, go into your jar and look at all the positive things that are inside of the jar. And remember that you are amazing. You are fierce, you are smart, you are strong and don't ever forget it. I'll see you guys again on Monday at 1130 for another story.